Hello, Patreons, and welcome. Welcome to the show. Uh, let's expand a little bit on photography versus illustration. I am one for illustration more often than not. Uh, why? Um, this is going to sound silly, but realism. Simple as that. If you have a game set in a fantasy world, to set up the photography, to make it believable, is going to be incredibly hard. For one reason. And it is that photography doesn't really give the brain that much of a gap to fill up. When we look at an illustration, our brain is filling up an awful lot of gaps that our eyes can't even see, that may not even be there. <clears throat> That's why impressionist, impressionistic art is so interesting to me, because just with a few brush strokes, it's giving you something that's not really there, but your brain feels, believes it is. With photography, you don't have that. You get what you get. You can see it. So, to provide with that sense of immersiveness is really difficult because anything that makes it makes it makes the photograph feel like it is too close to the real world is going to suspend our disbelief. You know, it's sorry, it's going to engage our disbelief, and we're going to think that's that's not how it would look. That's not what I have here. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't. So, I would be very careful. As a rule of thumb, when can you use photography? When you actually want to portray something real. Like I was saying from my Camp of the Mitos. I wanted something that was very close to reality, but was going to have that timeless um, feel to it. All photographs did it. That works. It really does. But as soon as you start using photographs, it brings everything so close to reality and it takes a fantasy away from it. So even if you're going to use, say that you're writing a game about you know, fantasy Vikings, if you use photographs of uh, Viking relics or sites, landscapes, that's going to abstract the fantasy element out of it and it's just not going to work. It's going to look odd especially if you combine it later on with illustrations and some things that's a bit more fantastic. You have to choose the whole overall feel of it. Can you do it? Well, it probably can, but the thing is usually just not worth the extra effort. It, it just isn't. Yes, some, some games have used it amazingly. I think it was Unknown Arm in the third edition that used photography very well indeed. Um, Something Evolution that I unboxed recently, I can't remember the name at the top of my head, also did it, but that was very heavily manipulated. So it can be done, but it's quite a skill. And one that if you think about carefully enough, the likelihood is that you're going to think is just not worth it. It, it just isn't. So think twice before you decide to go on the photography path, because Aside from using it for references, which you, you should always do, always, always use references and photography, you know, finding in Google a bunch of photographs is easy enough and because you're going to reference and not copy, it's okay. It will make your work a lot quicker. And if you have to write a brief for the illustrator, even more so. So, so that's, that's my take. Be very cautious on photography. I would probably say not unless you really must or you really want to portray something very very specific thank you once again for being there uh, please let everybody know uh, everybody know because uh, we need more the truth is i need more backers and until the next time i'll talk to you very soon take care